David Atkins, targeted individual. Um, I'm back with another video. Um, by the grace of God, um, anybody who helped me with my rent money this month, I really appreciate it. Um, I hate asking, but anybody who will scroll down to the first video that I would give would know why I'm asking. I cannot possibly work with my leg the way it is. And the only income I have is through survey apps. Uh, but I really appreciate it, and God bless y'all. Okay, um, um, I'm fixing to read, um, I'm going to talk about sleep deprivation today for targeted individuals. Um, um, I'm ha I have sleep deprivation problems and, you know, it, you know, they, they cause these problems and when you're sleep deprived and don't get no sleep, then it call I'm going to go into that anyway. Um. But first, I'm going to, while I need to hurry up before I start getting hit really, really bad. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the parable of the persistent widow. And then I'm going to go into the information I have for you all today. Um, it's Luke 18, 1 through 8. Oh, yeah, there's a good, um, there's a good website, free Bible, comment, free Bible commentary dot org. Um, this dude knows the Bible inside out. Um, he's got free audio Bibles, he, free audio and everything, read along Bible studies and everything. He knows the Hebrew, the Greek, and everything. And he breaks it down. Now, if you're if you don't read the Bible, whatever, um, I'm not pushing Bible on you. I'm saying what works for me, um, as far as keeping some peace and having faith in God and all this. And if you don't believe in God, I respect that too. I don't. I'm very open-minded, and like I tell everybody in my videos, I'd walk a mile. Well, I can't walk right, but. You know, I'd go a mile with you just as well as I would go a, a, a mile with anybody else. You know, I'm not judgmental at all. Um, matter of fact, you know, because of this program in 2018, um, I'd lost hope in God, you know, because I'm like, God, I'm following your word. And it said in your word, all things work together for those who love God with all their heart, soul, and mind. And all this stuff's happening. And I love God with all my heart, soul, and mind. But everything ain't going good. So, but what that verse means, I was, I was, I was so just, I was so thrown off because I'm getting gang stalked, um, attempts on my life, stalkers everywhere, burnt with direct energy weapons, V2K, you name it. And I'm homeless on the streets, walking around, nobody would help me. Churches would shut their door in my face. You know, I was in Pensacola, Florida, uh, all these different cities and I, everything was going bad. And I was like, man. And I got mad at God for a while and turned my back on him completely. And I said, man, there's no way there is a God. I did. I said, there's no way that God, you're real because you won't even help me. But I had to understand, you know, all his disciples suffered. If you read the Bible, all his disciples suffered. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I am going to read this, though. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart saying there was a certain city a judge who there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear god nor regard man now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying get justice for me from my adversary and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i do not fear god nor regard man yet because this widow troubles me and i will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me and the Lord said, hear what the unjust said, and God shall not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? It's a good passage, man. I love it. And it's talking about being persistent in prayer. And, you know, you can't just pray for you know, you don't want to pray for two or three days straight on a subject. Oh, I didn't get what I want, man. You got to be persistent in prayer and break through. And I do believe, and you know, and God's probably thinking that now. But God knows he's going to find faith on this earth for some of us. You know, he even said, well, well he, and God said, I'll tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on earth? And that was Jesus speaking. And, you know, but Jesus was basically saying, you know, that widow was persistent in asking the judge. She wouldn't give up. So the judge finally granted. So, so it sounds, be persistent in prayer. Don't give up. 
Okay, let me get in this information. Sleep deprivation quickly renders someone open to mental and mind control suggestions while reducing resistance to the remote neural attacks of the system's influences. Keeping someone awake with little to no sleep for days at a time is a highly effective way to break the will of a mind control victim, causing a whole range of undesirable ill effects from cognitive impairment, psychosis, breaking down the immune system, and even causing heart defects and cardiovascular problems. The more you deprive someone of sleep, the more likely they are to suffer memory loss, confusion, and hallucinations. It depatterns the mind clearing, the neural pathways of the brain, not only erasing the Christian content or whatever the victims concentrate upon, but it prepares the victim's brain for the next wave of neural program. Trauma-based mind control, torture, interrogation, sleep deprivation tactics are used to bring about a change in psychological state. Although the effects on the body's immune system and vital function undoubtedly cause additional damage, lack of sleep brings about a number of neurobiological effects um, affecting reaction time, memory, and cognitive functions. It also has effect of quickly bringing about hypogogic hallucinations, feelings of altered reality caused by incursion of REM activity into wakefulness. Prolong these conditions and it can lead to severe moral and emotional impairment and ultimately psychosis. Sleep deprivation tortures accomplishes the objective of memory loss during interrogation and induces hallucinations which help the interrogation process and behavior modification programs necessary too. It's easier to layer in false, in false memories and control the victim because anything that reduces the person's energy level and vitality makes that person more susceptible to mind control techniques. The victim is so disoriented and drowsy he cannot recognize modification of his actor memory and fight back against the system's influence. The technology they then use on, a, on the sleep deprived target is called EEG cloning. Hold on. And I probably should stop there because I did a thing on EEG cloning. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and blend in this. The brain patterns cloned onto the target may be catalog brain pat patterns stored in computers through live, or though live signals from a real person's brain can also be transmitted to the target. The handler, clone member of the hive mind teams, or slash clone, clone member of the hive mind teams, communicates with the target through a technology for transmitting voices into people's heads, which goes by many names, including voice to skull, synthetic telepathy, microwave hearing, and the fray effect. The communication may also be accomplished via EEG heterodyning, which involves remapping the auditory cortex of the human brain. Other technologies for transmitting voices include ultrasonic heterodyning, a condition of conduction techniques. It's much easier to achieve all this when the victim's brain is in a constant state of functional disorientation through sleep to deprivation, torture, and other forms. And I'm fixing to read you something else that Dr. Duncan saw that um, I, I, I recognized the other day. It goes along with this video, a matter of fact, and I'm pulling it up right now. He said, and this makes sense. He said, stay healthy, get plenty of sleep. Many people disconnect from the EEG cloning lock during sleep because of the irregular brain rhythms. The longer the target can stay unlocked, the longer it takes the attacker to acquire a lock. Remember that the shadow government wants the subject to live a short life. So these experiments are more easily covered up and forgotten. And for that, I will conduct the end of my video. I won't be doing a video tomorrow. I'm going to try to just chill. And, um, you know, they got this low vibration going on right now. It's tolerable, but you never know when they're going to hit me with the stuff they hit me with the other day. And I know I'm going to the truth because, you know, if I wasn't on to the truth, I wouldn't get, be getting hit so hard. So anyway, um, God bless y'all. And any suggestions on video, I, I, I would feel good. I would feel uh, perfectly fine if y'all had suggestions. I would encourage it. That way I can research and do suggestions on what y'all want to know about. And also, um, man, I encourage y'all, man, comment, a like. Um, that way we, the word can get out of here about, about what's going on about the pain we're suffering, you know, and um, I've seen some good, um, some good little comments and, um, you know, if you got anything you think would help, feel free to comment. Um, but yeah, yeah, Robert Duncan said, stay healthy, get plenty of sleep. Many people disconnect from the EEG cloning lock during sleep because of the irregular brain rhythms. The longer the target can stay unlocked, the longer it takes the attacker to acquire a lock. 
Oh yeah, any <clears throat> any of my shield builders out there, <clears throat> which I don't really believe the shield, any shielding will work all the time. But anybody that's listening to this, this don't it make sense? I was thinking since they target you via brainwave, and say they're targeting my heart. I was thinking about last night they were hitting my heart really bad, and I and I'm thinking. Would I shield my heart or would I shield my head? Because they're targeting you via, they're sending your signals to your brain via EEG cloning and targeting your cerebral cortex, which means they got access to whatever body part they want. So wouldn't you cover your head up? I'm just wondering. I want some input on that. Anyway, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day.